I'm John Bradbury. Welcome to Jones Detecting Adventures. Here we are today. Just talk about, about the uh, experience I've had with the Mine Lab Equinox 900 and its features. After quite several months now, I really got used to using this Equinox 900. It's been brilliant. I've found some awesome history. Hammered coins, silver coins, copper artifacts, silver artifacts. So I know it pretty well. Just got to now test it on ploughed land. And and uh, I have taken it on the beach, which has been brilliant on the beach. Love the machine, absolutely love it. It has a, a brilliant wide broadband where it gives you great target separation. And that's what we want. And the ability to have filters to filter out the rubbish and dig more positive targets which is what we want out of a metal detector of course I have the large search coil I cover a larger area when moving the metal detector left to right in one movement and going down that little bit deeper we've got a slight modification which is the Thresher waterproof headphones this is my choice this is what I like beautiful set of headphones love them with these headphones obviously you've got in all weathers and it really clamps on your ears and really comfortably and you'll be able to hear the sound perfectly with no interference whatsoever secondly we have the Coltec 15 inch search coil the 15 inch search coil is an awesome piece of kit I have found so much stuff since I've had this machine absolutely brilliant another really good feature uh, about the uh, 900 is that it's made of carbon fiber really strong robust won't break and it will endure quite a lot of punishment on that on that field also what I like about it if you look down here are the cam locks brilliant for adjusting look at that oh love it and this one what a brilliant idea so another good feature on this uh, metal detector is the adjustable armrest look at that press it in just it lock it done ready for detecting perfect let's show you some of the workings and features of this machine these are all the buttons on the 900 Because that's the pin pointy. And when those two meet in the middle, that's where you the target, then you're right smack in the middle of the target. Iron mode, if you want to hear the iron. Program mode. Minus and plus all your different settings. Cog is actually going to the different settings of the program this is your frequency and this is your noise cancel and your uh, delete filter let's turn it on which is a side button here there So on the Equinox 900, the really good feature on this is the light source. So you've got different levels of light to brighter and brighter. You can't really tell much, but it goes brighter, brighter. Or you can have it on what we call torch mode. So you keep it pressed in two seconds. And there's the torch. And the, the light shines onto the search coil when it's dusk or dark. 
and there it is. Now, as you can see to the left hand side, there's a little bar level. That's your sensitivity. By pressing the plus or minus on this, goes up in sensitivity. I think it's maximum 25. I tend to have it in between 18 and 21. You've got this button here, which is for the wireless headphones just there. Which is quite simple. You turn, turn the machine on, turn the headphones on, keep the power button on the headphones on until it links up. Very simple. This is a separate program if you want to make a separate program. Let's take you through the different programs. So we have here, that's park one. Park two. This is for ploughed land. Ploughed land again. Beach. Beach one, which is uh, on the beach for dry sand or semi-dry. And then beach two for in the water. And then we have the next function, which is... Oh, you can hear it now. That's for gold nugget hunting. One and two and there's probably two factory settings on that gold nugget hunt in there bring it back to park one so by pressing the cog you'll be able to go through the different settings on that program as you can see just down there it's flashing in that corner there a little wavy line with a cross that's noise cancelled, so if you get any electrical interference or other machine metal detectors, you press the... and off it fires off, changing the frequency away from whatever electrical noise and interference is about. Move it on. This is ground balance. I usually keep it on zero. But depending on how heavy mineralized the ground is, you might have to set the ground balance. It can be set on automatic. Move the cog again. Which is your volume? We've got it on 20 at the moment. Which is fine. It goes up to 25. Press the cog again. Threshold. Bit of a home noise in the background just increases the depth and amplifies the targets in the ground. I've got it set at three. Factory setting is zero, but I've got it set at three. I've got it on five tones. That's five five tones of noise. You can alter it to two. Auto. Move it on again. Now this is what we, where you're able to notch out various numbers, various things on the machine out that you don't want to dig. I never use that. Move it on again. And we've got it on recovery speed, which is set at five. Now, if, we're able, if we put this on multi, what we're able to also adjust We're able to adjust. Let's move it down to the to the to the level where I want it. Get back to recovery speed. Give it pressed in two seconds. And there we have FE. FE is a filter for iron. Got it at two at the moment. Right, just bring that to four. And keep it at that. Press the cog again, brings you to the beginning, fully functional program. And there's the kilohertz, 15 kilohertz at the moment now, but you'll be able to go from four, five, 10, 15, 20, 40, multi, multi-frequency.
I like to keep it on 15. Just separates the target a bit. Then as you move down your different levels of programs, which is for ploughed land, that's all being preset. As you can see, it's on multi, multi frequency. I'll probably change that for ploughed land. So change it accordingly to the, to the land on the settings that you prefer. But that's the factory settings on ploughed land, plough land one. And on two. So when you're in on the beach, you cannot alter the kilowatts on this at all. It is in multi-frequency all the time for the beach mode. And I think it's same for beach two. Let's try it. That's beach two. Let's see if you can change the frequency. No, you can't. So it's, in, it's set at multi-frequency for the beach. You press the cog again to go back to the program that you that you want to stop on. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, bit of a demonstration. Um, hope you find some useful tips. Uh, please subscribe, and we'll catch you on another adventure.